Hello there and welcome back to another video here on the Master Moldy channel. If you do end up enjoying this video or any of the others, be sure to smash like and subscribe so you don't miss out on some brand new Lego sets coming your way. There's a few bonus reviews, shall we say, that I'll be making over the month of August. Today is very special because you'll have seen that I've recorded a few videos in advance for yesterday and tomorrow because me and my fiance are celebrating our sixth year anniversary. So we are going out and there is a Smiths and a Sainsbury's where we are heading. So we'll be checking out, seeing if there are any Lego deals. I've had a little look online and I don't think there's anything too special. So it's probably going to be a really brief video. But we've also, once we come back later on, got a few other things to show off, such as something that I got for my fiance today. So hopefully you do end up enjoying this video and I'll drop back in once I am back. So having got back from Smith's a while ago now, they didn't really have any good Lego Star Wars sales. In fact, nothing we picked up from Smith's has anything to do with Lego. So it will be really quick. But before we start, I did get these images. You'll see them on screen of an Imagine Next Fisher Price Darth Vader mech. If we got something that sized in Lego, that would be amazing. We're talking about Chewbacca on top of the height of C-3PO, but a mech. It also came with a little Stormtrooper, and I'll try and size up an image of myself just so you can see how big this mech is. There was also an R2-D2 one, which was about half the height of Vader, and if you know how big some of the Nerf boxes are, you'll probably be able to size up the Vader based on the gaps between the shelves. It looked so, so tempting to pick up, but it was also quite expensive. £140 isn't far off what LEGO were charging for Chewbacca and C-3PO. I did also see a sign saying that you could pre-order the advent calendars. So if you do want to guarantee one of the LEGO advent calendars and you live in the UK and you're not even near a Smith because you can also pre-order these for delivery. But if you want to make sure you can get an advent, then definitely look towards Smith's. I'm tempted to pre-order one, but at the same point, they usually drop to about £20 by November rolls around. And there's still so much stock that they've got to sell by Christmas. So it'd be tempted to wait, but I might pre-order it so I can review it day one and show you how much the advent is actually worth. Because if it is really good value for retail price, they might go out of stock before you're seeing any sales. Anyway, to what we actually picked up at Smith's. First off, I got my fiance this... I'm not really sure. It's called a fidget jiggly ball and it is super satisfying. And it's just a really fun little gift if you like this sort of squidgy textured thing. But she actually got me a Funko Pop and not just any Funko Pop, a Grand Admiral Thrawn Funko Pop. Now I am not a in the box collector. So if you don't like Funkos outside of the box, look away now because this is probably your worst nightmare. But I really like the backing of this Funko box. It's got the Ahsoka pattern on it, but it's this sort of space blue, which does look really, really cool and actually matches the design on the outside of the box. It's similar to the map we saw that led to Peridia for the, I think it was the end credits of the show. And I actually really like the fact that the Funkos have started coming in this sort of two part split in plastic. It's not nice that they come in in any sort of plastic. I'm sorry for all of your ears with that very loud popping, but I first got, I think it was one of my Mufasa Funkos in this sort of packaging because of the fragile towel. And Funko used to do this for characters like Maul who had the double bladed lightsabers, but Thrawn is really, really cool. And I'm excited to get the Lego minifigure as well because I do want to be picking up the attack on Peridia. I think it's just a really amazing character. And if you didn't know, I do have quite a few Funko Pops. This is actually my... I'm not quite sure I have any from the Ahsoka show yet, so this is my first official one. But I do have other Pops like the Force Ghost of Anakin and a few other Ahsokas from when she popped up in The Mandalorian. But this wasn't the only shop we went to, so let's see my attempt at picking up the LEGO Star Wars magazine. So you'll probably have just heard about all the lack of deals at the Sainsbury's and Smith's. There were a few good things that I'm sure I would have pointed out to you. I haven't recorded the bit you've just seen yet, but hopefully I'll be able to voice over the very select images I took. But whilst we were at the Sainsbury's, I actually wasn't able to find any of the brand new Star Wars magazine, which came out in the UK two days ago. So Hopefully a few of the stores local to us do have it in stock. I'm going to go check right now and then I'll be back to record the rest of the video and show you what we picked up 
in Smiths and the Lego I promised I'd show you earlier on in the video. So I'm back from all of the shops and my hair is sticking to all the sweat on my face, but we have some bad news. So none of the stores I went to, the magazine has been out for two days. And none of the stores I went to actually had the magazine on the shelf. And I don't think they'd received their orders yet because usually there's an empty slot with a little sticker that says, Lego Star Wars magazine or Lego Star Wars at least and there wasn't any gaps in them they still had a few of the older magazines like the old Ninjago tins and they did have a few of the newer ones such as the Minecraft one which I'm pretty sure has come out in the last couple of days but for whatever reason they don't have their Lego Star Wars magazine anyway we can still talk about it because I've seen so many people already picking it up. If any of you are in the UK this is what I meant in my video ages ago I didn't actually show you about having the block of ice. This is just an old ice cream tub I filled with water, whacked it in the freezer, put it in front of the fan, and it cools down the room so, so much. It is definitely a savior over these next few heat wave days. So just like I expected, the internet seems to already have their chosen tins. Some people even pick it up both tins. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, the new Darth Vader magazine comes with a Darth Vader minifigure. I will be showing you my collection of Darth Vader's in a second. I really don't need another Lego Darth Vader. Well, at least not with the same torso that every single other version I've got has. I like to see them switch it up a bit and give us some torsos other than the return of the Jedi torso, which I believe is on nearly every Darth Vader. I know there's a few different variants out there and I'm sure there's some misprinted ones as well that work in the favor of some collectors trying to get the torso from all of them. I'm a bit surprised that there's not a lot of customs making the different torsos actually. That sounds like there's a massive gap in the market for that. So let me know if you do know any customs that sell the different Vader torsos and don't charge a literal arm and a leg for them. But the two tins we've got is the Vader face, which is the tin that preferably if I could choose, I would want, but I'm not really fussed with getting the other tin. The other tin reminds me of the card tins that you'd see. Not here in the UK because I'm pretty sure we didn't see the Star Wars collectible cards and if we did it was for a very very short run. But over in Europe I've seen plenty of different tins with, I think you can get one with Yoda on the front. I don't know if there's a Vader one already but I know there's a Stormtrooper one and they look really really cool. But we've got the two different styles of tins and confirmation finally after I think two months I've been saying this because this got leaked ages ago from one of the European magazines. We are getting Sabine Wren, the Ahsoka version of Sabine Wren, the one that comes in the T6, which personally is one of the worst sets we got last year, which just goes to show how great the Lego Star Wars sets were because it's by no means a bad set. It's got an ugly bottom, but this means that we're getting the Sabine in a magazine, Ahsoka's coming in the advent at the end of the year, which again, you can pre-order through Smiths and I'm sure there's loads of other stores as well with it available to pre-order. Even Lego.com probably has it up for a pre-order. I'd love to see Marok in a different set. I don't think he's a popular enough character for them to release in a book or anything. But if they're releasing a Star Wars book with Marok in, that'd be amazing because the Hiang isn't droid enough for me. I am looking to get a custom Hiang droid. I haven't really seen any on the custom Lego Star Wars market, but I would like one with a more droid body or I'll probably just brick myself one together because I've seen a load of people create some pure Lego customs which look really, really good. So I'd like to get my hands on a Maroc minifigure, but the set really doesn't tempt me at all. But now that we've got Sabine, we've actually got leaked. Thanks to Europe being a month ahead, our close friends over in Europe have already got the Sabine Wren magazine. And credit to, I think their name's the Brick Cruncher on YouTube, who has already done a review of this magazine. You'll see on screen now, the Sabine Wren not only comes with the hair piece that is included in the set, but also comes with her helmet and the dual-sided face and the weapons. So it's a complete minifigure. It's a shame we didn't get the hair piece with the Bo-Katan minifigure, but nonetheless, I think this is definitely an improvement everybody's been wanting to see. So this Sabine's gonna be really popular. And then, as I was saying, Europe already have that magazine. So the next issue is actually gonna be a phase two shiny clone trooper. That is a great army buildup, but I do see a load of people trying to army build based on the magazine. I think it's great if you pick up one, maybe you pick up two, such as me and my fiance really like reading the comics and doing the puzzles in the magazine. And rather than trying to 
do the puzzles in pencil and scrub them out. Usually we just pick up two magazines, which gets us two clone troopers. But for the price of three magazines, because a lot of these minifigures, the magazines have been up to six, seven odd pound. For six pound, you can get one phase two minifigure. Or for three times that, 18 pound, you can pick up the full battle pack. In fact, for Prime Day and even a few weeks ago, Amazon had that battle pack for £16, which means save yourself £2 rather than buying free magazines and taking away from other people that want them. Pay a few more quid, buy the full set, you get an extra clone on top of the free shinies, the Coruscant Guard one. You're getting three B1 battle droids. It's been a while since I opened and reviewed that set. You also get two B2s, a tri droid, a speeder, some riot shields, which are really cool to go with the Coruscant Guards, especially if you've got that gunship to recreate some scenes from the Clone Wars on Coruscant. And it's just much better value to buy them in the set, which is just showing how privileged we are with these Clone Trooper battle packs that rather than getting a clone in a magazine, which years ago for some of these clones only came in the expensive sets, would be an amazing offer. It's actually better value to pick up the full set, but I'll still be trying to get my hands on this Vader set. But right now, let's take a look at my Darth Vader collection. And before you skip this portion of the video because you think I only have three versions of Darth Vader, just wait and see how many more I have behind the camera here. These are our three regular versions. There's nothing regular about this very morbid hand lightsaber, but I do think it looks pretty cool. But we have the Smiley Darth Vader, which is... I think this is the oldest one that I've got. And I've actually switched this so that we've got the printed arms on this version. I'm not sure which version I have not given the printed arms, but this is the Smiley Darth Vader, which we got, we got a while back. And then I've also given vader anakin's burnt up head this isn't the kenobi but i did get one of these heads on a darth vader for the transformation chamber i think it was so that's a really cool prequel era vader and i guess the vader without the printed arms is actually the only version of these that came with printed arms in the first place and we have this frowny a lot more realistic Vader, I think. He's got a more evil Darth impression on his face, which I think does look really cool. But this is just the start of my Vader collection. So you've seen the three regular Vaders. We do, of course, also have the Vader from the Advent. I'm not sure what head. This is another frowny head. In fact, I'm pretty sure in saying all my other Vaders from this point out are the frowny head. I got the smiley head in the throne room, which was my first vader and palpatine well, it can't have been my first vader and palpatine because the vader's transformation was my first vader and palpatine but that was the first throne room set i got we got four vaders so far and now i have got four more of these regular darth vader's printed arms the frowny head so i've switched it up first up we have luke skywalker who many of you might have seen in my luke collection because i've gone with every outfit luke skywalker wears and in the Dark Side Cave version of Luke, he's wearing his father's Vader outfit. And it's not quite the Return of the Jedi one. It is the Empire Strikes Back costume, but it's close enough for me. So we have Luke. We have Dark Side Luke, I guess. And then we get a bit funnier because I have also put Darth Vader in the Emperor's robes. And we have this Lord Vader. There we go. We've got another smiley head. I guess they're not all the frowny expression. But this is just a Vader helmet on the Emperor's robes, which I guess is sort of what would happen if Vader took the Emperor's place. I don't know if he'd want to wear the Emperor's robes, but then we have Diddy Vader as well. I was talking about the Mighty Micros over in Lego Marvel and thought it looked really cool to do this to Vader. And I think at one point I also did this to the Emperor as well. So I might have to design a Diddy Death Star for him to drive and crash into another ship like a Diddy Home One. And then last but not least, we have this Pong Crowell Vader. We have Four Arms Vader, which is an absolute beast of a minifigure. It's the torso from Garmadon from Ninjago. You know we love our Ninjago pieces for custom Star Wars minifigures. And I think this Grievous Vader is definitely a force to be reckoned with. So he can go right behind the Diddy Darth Vader. And this is every single Darth Vader I own. Now it's time to show you what I got my fiance for our anniversary. So she is a big fan of the FNAF game series. And we recently watched 
the brand new movie. So I found these custom Five Nights at Freddy's figures and I think they look really awesome. If you've seen my speed reviews of the Animal Crossing sets that she got for her birthday, then you'll know that I was looking into these because I thought a few of the Animal Crossing heads, especially for, especially for Foxy and Bonnie, looked like they could be good molds to use for these FNAF characters. And I think the detail on these, I mean, look at Chica's cupcake. That is just some really cool detailing. I like the way the eyes have been done as well and once again not only do we have side of the leg side of the arm back of the leg and side of the torso printing but it's also a really high quality printing so we've taken a look at chica with the cupcake we then have bonnie with their red guitar which looks really really cool this is a blue bonnie because bonnie is blue for the most part but i'm pretty sure you can also get a purple one then we have Freddy. Of course, you can't have Five Nights at Freddy's without Freddy himself. Otherwise, it's just Five Nights. And look at the detail of the different animatronics, the different gears and different metal parts sticking through the back of the legs. Lego would never do anything like that. And Foxy is also pretty cool with the hook. Similar to the Lego version, it's actually a bit different. It doesn't hook around as much, so it makes it so much easier to hold something in his claw and then we also have this version of endo with the ears it's sort of an endo too but once again the printing on the minifigure is looking really really clean and they definitely look a lot better than they did in their images i didn't expect them to come as high quality as they do but they'll look amazing on her shelf with her other Five Nights at Freddy's memorabilia. So today has seen some successes and some failures. I think that the Five Nights at Freddy's minifigures and this Fraun Funko make the video on a whole a success. So let me know what you think of the customs you've seen of my Darth Vader army. There's something for the title and thumbnail. And if you did enjoy this video, if you've got access to the magazine, let me know how did you find it. And if you do, make sure you're enjoying them puzzles double for me because I'm going to keep my eye out. But honestly, I'm not that fussed about not getting the Vader. The tint is pretty, pretty nice though. And I do need somewhere to store all of my Darth Vaders. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Check out all the videos on screen now. It's way too hot to be recording anymore. So I'm going to leave it there. May the bricks be with you. Always.